you rue. An old, familiar sound. Salutation, darlings. Zorwing here, bringing you some more Genshin Impact. Last time, um... <laughs> Last time! We... Where were you going? Last time. Right, we were working, we were uh, going to Hu Tao's dinner after, yeah, after um, post lantern right dinner. <laughs> and goodness gracious, they are, everyone who showed up was just like, <laughs> nearly everyone who showed up has basically a secret identity. Aside from like Hu Tao, uh, Zhang Ling, and <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> so many of them had secrets. And like, they're all keeping the secrets. <laughs> Some people are in all the secrets, other people are not. It's just an entire thing. <laughs> Wati's there, Zhang Li's there, Zhao's there. <laughs> And we're thinking of two archons are looking to keep that part, that half of them a secret. Um, oh my goodness. Yes, so those two have just been salty with one another. Um, anywho, we're about to step out with Zhao. Um, we're about to step out with Zhao. Goodness gracious words. Two days. Three hours. Alright. So I can do this quest real quick in like basically the next three hours. Then I have two days to do these four. Which will be easy peasy. I got a new letter from an informant. Looks Shh. <laughs> Let's uh, move on. I had a hunch that if I stepped outside, a cutscene would begin or something. So I was like, eh, I'll, j I'll just leave immediately, mostly because. Oh goodness. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Yeah, I'm worth. Hello. Hi. How are you? Alright. If it will load any time this century. I'm ju I'm just so scatterbrained. <laughs> yes, I just wanted to finish this quest real quick and then probably go eat dinner. <laughs> ah, yes. Cutscene immediately as you step out. Well, not quite cutscene. You know, the little pseudo cutscenes that these are. Are you alright? Mm, I should be the one asking you that. <laughs> <sighs> I. It's hard to describe. <laughs> Unfamiliar with gatherings like this? It's not that. Uh, kind of audio cut. There were those among the Adepti who loved gatherings and idle chit-chat. Sometimes they would call up a few others for a drink. Even I got dragged along to their gatherings many times. Then perhaps it's reminding him of those times. The Adepti all have their specialties making most of them proud and arrogant. Everything they say is straight from the heart. It never gets too complicated. Ah. But this time... <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh, oh. I'm gonna say... Oh. Well. <laughs> it's not either of their fault. It's just a bit complicated. But if you must blame one... Uh, let's blame Latte because he just seemed to show up out of nowhere. No, no. 
<laughs> I didn't mean that. So you know his true identity. I'll get straight to the point then. The Animo Archon is a free spirit, and his temperament is as carefree as the music he plays on the flute. It's easy for a god like him to live in harmony with humans. And that's something I might never be able to do. You don't have to be like them. Hmm. That does sound like something you would say. <laughs> no matter. I know my circumstances. Whenever I think of the ordinary conversations I've had with you, it feels... strangely novel. Strange in a good way? Yes. <laughs> the parlor director went out of her way with the invitation, so it was difficult to turn her down. I had made mental preparations before agreeing to come. She told me that all the guests today would be acquainted with elemental power. And I knew that you would be here. <laughs> right, instead of saying that they all have visions. But I didn't expect the other guests to be... <laughs> no one would have guessed. General Capesis always said that we should live in the present and enjoy every pleasant surprise. Perhaps that's what I should do with what I'm feeling now. Mm -hmm. But I think he meant designing clothes for those around him. <laughs> the clothes were intricately designed, but inconvenient to wear. Brother Bosatius never tried to hide his distaste in front of him. Rex Lapis did like his designs and even collected quite a few. The outfit he wears now was also designed by General Capesis himself. Hello, Fleur. Fleur was a baby. What? what are you doing? It's okay. I never saw him wear this during the war. I didn't expect him to start wearing it later. Oh, here you are. Hello, Jean. Um, I'm not intruding, right? Uh... You're not. <laughs> what is it? A uh, hotel saw that everyone's done eating and asked the staff to bring out the desserts. Paimon got so anxious that you weren't back yet that she scarfed down her dessert without the usual slurping and munching. <laughs> but not so anxious that she can't eat. <laughs> Sounds like she'll be okay. Uh, to be honest, I was kind of worried too. We've barely been out here. You looked a little restless just now, and I thought you weren't used to the food here, and was planning to head back to Wangshu Inn for something Yan Chao made. You're worrying too much. <laughs> Xiao, don't pull any mystic wind cyclings on us. Well, mystic wind, what are you saying, Lumain? Why would I? Anyway, let's head back. Uh, please wait! Hmm? There's another reason why I came looking for you. Here, take these. I brought them for you. Almond tofu? Yup. Since the Masterful Chef's competition, you could say that Yan Xiao and I are not only competitors, but good friends as well. I visit him at Wang Xuan sometimes to discuss our cooking. I heard him say that the esteemed guest on the roof loves nothing more than a good plate of almond tofu. So I learned a thing or two about the dish from him. Aww. I'll be honest, before Hu Tao invited everyone, she secretly came looking for me, told me about the guest she planned to invite, and asked me for some suggestions on what she should order. Aww. So I made a few servings of almond tofu for you guys in advance. Take them as a token of gratitude for your support. Aww. When I told Guoba that I was making these for you, he started eagerly running around the kitchen and helping a lot too. Oh, thank you, Xingling. And go over. Thank you for the trouble. There was no need to... <coughs> I'll take them. <laughs> thank you. And Guoba, too. You're welcome. Oh, the almond tofu I made probably tastes and feels a little different from the type Yen Xiao cooks. Please let me know if there's any improvements I should make. Alrighty. Okay. <laughs> That's all. Alrighty, we should head back now. We can't keep Paimon waiting. Hmm. But yes, between facades and familiar faces. Every, every time I see this, I want to select this. But every time I want to, I'm just reminded, oh yeah. Your character is involved in another quest. Why are you in another quest? I can think of a dozen reasons to complain. <laughs> I shan't.
<laughs> oh, you're finally done whispering secrets to each other? So much for promising Paimon you'll be back soon. <laughs> we were pretty quick. You're only angry because you have no sense of time. Ha! How could you say that to Paimon? <sighs> In that case, besides having no sense of time, Paimon will let you know what having no sense of fullness looks like. Your dessert is all Paimon's! <laughs> Sorry to keep everyone waiting. <laughs> no worries, we're all just chatting here. There's no serious business to take care of. Whether we're chatting outside or inside, it's all the same. <laughs> Strive to be more like Hutel, Pai. Hmm. Paimon's too busy eating to talk to you. But even though we're all well acquainted by now, I think this festive gathering deserves something ceremonious. So? Oh? Is this some local custom? Nope. Hmm? This is something I made up so that good luck will be on our side. That's all. Spontaneity is the best choice to make here. Um, let's use this incense burner on the table. It's been lit for so long now that the incense is running out. I'll leave refilling and lighting the incense to the most distinguished guest among us all. <laughs> Could it be, Zhongli? Lighting the incense will signify continuous growth and prosperity in all our endeavors in the new year. I see. Perfect symbolism, as expected of Hu Tao. And speaking of the most distinguished guest here today, I'm sure we all agree that it's Mr. Zhongli. <laughs> I'm not very familiar with the details of his past deeds, but chatting with him has been a real eye-opener, even for a bard who has traveled all across the world. If knowledge were a form of power, one could even say that you're a wielder of unlimited strength. But when it comes to having a way with words, the notable bard is certainly one cut above the rest. I just happen to have a good memory. It is such an unexceptional skill, yet you made it sound like an unparalleled talent. I am truly impressed. Since we all get to nominate someone... Hmm? Pie? Mm-hmm. I think it's only fair that we let the parlor director light the incense. Huh? That won't do. Don't flatter me just because I'm your boss. <laughs> we are looking for the most distinguished guest here. As the host, I shouldn't be involved in this discussion at all. Now that we've enjoyed this table full of delicacies, how about we let our one and only chef here do the honors? <laughs> um, is this really the way this works? I didn't cook any of these dishes. It's not a big deal. Look at her. Xiangling, <laughs> the disciple of an adeptus, the stove god's best companion, the winner of the Masterful Chef's Competition, <laughs> the only heir of the famous Wan Mean Restaurant, a good old friend of mine. There's no better choice. <laughs> Hu Tao is maximum ham. Uh, why does Paimon feel like we're back at square one again? <laughs> You're making me embarrassed. If we're looking for a distinguished guest, surely the second son of the Feiyun Commerce Guild counts. It's one of the largest <laughs> commerce guilds in Liyue Harbor. Huh? Don't get me involved in this. Oh, not a bad choice. With the Commerce Guild's young master lighting the incense, we're all sure to make a huge sum of mora in the new year. That's not how it works. Making a fortune is indeed a fine wish. But it's of lesser importance than good health and happiness. Which means we should choose Chong Yun, the skilled exorcist who <laughs> keeps everyone's home safe from evil spirits. Huh? Now you're nominating me? I can't be the one when we have the Conqueror of Demons right here. Adeptus Xiao has the most seniority among everyone here today. We should. I refuse. <laughs> I am most certainly not the most distinguished guest here. Is he gonna say it's Zhang Li? You should all be able to make the right judgment based on your observations. Wait, don't. One person here is well acquainted with everyone else. Yeah, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right! <laughs> Even though you're always mocking Paimon, you're still pretty popular with other people. No, wait! <laughs> Paimon said she wouldn't talk to you again. 
Hmm, I'm not the only welcome per connected person here, though. Huh? Who else is there? <laughs> Take a look in the mirror. You, of course. Huh? Huh? Does that mean... Paimon's the most distinguished guest? Yeah. <laughs> Paimon was feeling abandoned. Oh, well, that was unexpected! <laughs> I agree. Paimon's just the one we need. Without a friend constantly by your side, a long journey would become dreadfully lonesome. But once you have someone there to brighten up the atmosphere, everything along the way will become lively and vibrant too. Ah, the traveler has traversed many nations and left behind a great deal of fascinating stories. But without Paimon, they would have become quite monotonous. Paimon plays an indispensable role in making your journey a happy and smooth one. I feel like this is the developer saying, please stop hating on Paimon. <laughs> no. You guys! Paimon's not used to being praised like that. I know. <laughs> uh, those were genuine compliments, right? Of course. You're the best travel companion ever. Surely the most delicious of emergency food sources. Thank you. You made Paimon wait for a long time, but... Paimon's not mad anymore. <laughs> Don't take everything to heart, Paimon. Friends tease each other all the time. Of course, only the best of friends can... Only the best of friends will threaten to eat you in any case of an emergency. Hmm. That is indeed true. That means Paimon is as important to the Traveler as Guova is to me. Looks like we've come to an agreement. Any objections before we proceed? Nope. I trust the Traveler's judgment. <laughs> then Paimon it is. And now, the world's most excellent Traveler's greatest companion, guide, and friend, Paimon, will be refilling and lighting the incense for us. <laughs> Here you go. Take the match, and uh, don't burn yourself. But if things go really wrong, Here's the two-for-one coupon. <laughs> she clumsily lights the incense. <laughs> you all have relax heart to heart and chat all the way until nightfall. Now that everyone's had their fill of delicious food and tea, it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> Getting late. I won't take up any more of your time. You're all free to go as you please. <laughs> the food and dirt. D food and dirt. The food and desserts were delicious. Thanks for the treat, director. Yep, the tea was amazing too. <laughs> you don't have to go all polite on me. Just remember to come when I invite you next time. <laughs> of course. Hmm. Let's see. It's dark out, so I'm going to accompany Xiang Ling, Sing Cho, and Chang Yun back home. As for the rest of the guests, I'll leave them to our consultant. Okay. No need. I'm headed towards the harbor to meet a friend on the ship. There's no need to trouble one such as Mr. Zhang Li. I think you know the place I'm talking about. Come meet me anytime. I will. <laughs> it was great getting to know you all. Let's meet again when the spring breeze begins to blow. Bye. Oh, we should write poetry together sometime. <laughs> that sounds like a wonderful disaster. We'll catch you all later then. <laughs> Don't forget to return to the parlor later. There's something I need you to do. Understood. See you later. <laughs> Bye. <sighs> well then. Rex Lapis. Just Zhang Li will do. I live as a mortal in Liu Harbor now. I am just one among many who begin work at sunrise and retire to rest at sundown. 
If we were to consider status and seniority as Zhongli, I should be respectfully referring to you as Adeptus Shao. Ugh. Heaven forbid. <laughs> Adeptus Shao? Not you two. <laughs> I meant what I said. I heard that during the Lantern Rite Music Festival, you conferred with Streetward Rambler and Cloud Retainer. Mm -hmm. I take it as you've gained a lot more knowledge about the past? So much more knowledge. The same truth will sound different coming from different people. As more bear witness to a story, feelings and interpretations expand in variety too. I once had a pleasant chat about the past and present with a Sumeru scholar named Soraya and learned a few things about her research topic. From the evidence she found and the conclusion she made, her area of research is already very close to the truth. Oh? But there are multiple sides to humans and gods alike. In the legends recorded by humans, some gods were depicted as arrogant and condescending, while others were kind and capable. But whether to me, Streetward Rambler, Cloud Retainer, or younger Adepti such as Shao and Ganyu, those Adepti and gods that may seem extraordinary to humans are something more akin to close companions. <laughs> this was as true back then as it is right now. Just how Shao may seem unapproachable to most, but the Traveler has proved otherwise. <laughs> so there's no need to dwell too much on certain things. Rexla, <clears throat> I mean, Zhongli, what you're saying is... It looks like you understood what I meant. Ah, the director asked me to accompany you on your return. But I don't think you'll need my protection. I'll be taking a walk around and admiring the night scenery. After that, it'll be time for me to go back and meet up with the director. Goodbye for now. Everyone's gone now. Paimon always feels a little empty inside when a lively celebration ends. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean, Pai. But at least you always stay by Paimon's side. <laughs> of course, of course. No, no, no. Paimon got it mixed up. Paimon, the best and most distinguished travel guide, will always stay by your side, traveler. It's my honor. I'm afraid there'll be a lot to ask of you in the future, too, most distinguished Paimon. Hmm. Good that you're aware of that. <laughs> Shell, is there anything else you want to do? We could take you on a tour of Liyue Harbor. No need. I've stayed here for much longer than I had expected. The city lights are a fine sight, but it's time for me to leave. The events of today occurred so abruptly. I appreciate your kindness. The feeling's mutual. You don't have to thank me every time. Okay. I'll see you next time, then. Mm -hmm. And away he goes. See, I wasn't able to finish that last time. Barely took 20 minutes. But sometimes things come up. We have Elisa's outfit quest. That's uh, not for today. Well, might as well get these started. Happy Lantern Rite, esteemed ones! You guys have been having fun? How about going on a special adventure with me? Wow, you call this esteemed ones? Such a great title! We recently have been having lots of fun, but why is Paimon getting a strange feeling that we've met before? <laughs> you guys are extremely dil diligent adventurers, so I'm sure we bumped into each other at some point. I'm Tatiana. I usually hang out around the Huayun Slope, looking to recruit new people into the Adventurers Guild. Everyone in the cats and dogs passing by has probably heard my voice. 
You look familiar. <laughs> yes, I mean my efforts were noticed by you guys. All the more reason for you to experience my masterpiece. At this point, of course, we'll lend you a hand. Oh, at this point, I'm just lending a hand. Can you tell us a little bit about your particular adventure? Sure then, I'll cut to the chase. Recently, I came across a new novel at one at one win book house. No, that's not it. Rather, I gathered some new information. I've noticed that people's expectation for adventure are rising, and activities such as climbing and wind gliding are not as exciting as they used to be. In order to get more people to join the Adventures Guild, we need to come up with more novel and exciting approaches. So I teamed up with a couple of other recruiters, pulled together our resources, and consulted a few expert mountain climbers and fireworks craftsmen and designed a new racing challenge. There are many mechanisms laid out in the challenge. Just step on them and use the momentum from the fireworks and gunpowder blast to accelerate into the sky. Oh my god, that sounds crazy and delightful. Fireworks? Gunpowder? So for the challenge, you want to blast people into the sky? <laughs> Rocket propelled Paimon. <laughs> Why are you so excited? You're also going up. Although with your strength and explosive barrel bursting into the run wouldn't phase you, who knows? It might blow you away. Not to worry, the explosion is contained inside a tough device. I've taken the necessary precautions to make sure it's safe and injury free. Okay, we're basically being fired out of cannons, I guess. I've also filled a patent with the Ministry of Civil Affairs and have publicized this event many times. Please do not see my. Yeah, there are so many hurdles. You really put a lot of thought into this. As far as I can tell, just doing this racing challenge will stir the spirit of adventure in an average passerby. Esteemed ones, your reputation precedes you. If you guys take point in this racing challenge, you'll be sure to attract a lot of people. I also prepared great rewards for the challenge, so be sure to encourage more people to join the adventure skills. <laughs> okay, fireworks and gunpowder race, let's go. Oh boy, for time for Pima and me to get blown sky high. <laughs> hey, why would see he's laughing? As Tatiana said, it's perfectly safe. Don't you want to give it a try? Mm -hmm. Then it's a deal. Without further ado, please give it a whirl. Here, there are lots of trucks for you to try. I'm sure we'll have a good time with them. And I'll get a couple months worth of results. It's a win-win. <laughs> Cloudless sky. Intertwine the stars, iridescent moonlight, and whirling petals. A few words in the foreground. I really do wish I had time to properly do this event. A performance going on at North Wharf, at, on the on the North on the North Wharf. Wharf, wharf. Why is this so big? Wharf. The word wharf is so weird. Doesn't say what's this show, what the show is or who's going to perform it. I mean, one wonders where the location is. If we can't find it, we could always ask people in the street. There's lots of pe there's lots of people here. Uh, I don't see it. Well, so many gather there. It must be for the show. Let's ask around. Fortune and health, peace and wealth. Hello? Is there going to be a performance here soon? Yes, there's going to be a paper play. Are you guys here for it too? So this opera is called Paper Play? Is it... No! Paper Play and Liu are operas are not the same thing. King Zing, the show's about to begin. Be quiet or you'll affect the performance. Sorry, as for the paper play, you'll know it when you see it. Honored guests, we will be performing Brave Bread, a uh, Brave Beard, Brave Beard, Brave Beard, Brave Beard today. Before the show, if you want to head to the restroom or grab a beverage, now is a good time. We'll wait for no one when the show begins. So this performance is actually called Brave Bird. But my mom's never heard of this story. Shh, we can still hear you, even out of a whisper. Keep it down. You can talk during intermissions. Uh, sorry. 
intermission selection. Hey, it's this dude. The story of Braver is quite long. In fact, it's be too long to do it all in one go. So can we let the audience pick a scene they want to see during the intermission? Hi, I'm trying to listen to the play. Oh, I won't butt anymore, I promise. So, dear guests, what part of Braver's story would you like to see today? Would you like to see the mountain bound or worship? Would you like to see Mountain Bound, or Worshipping Adepti, maybe Exercising Demons, or Ascension? As long as you can name it, I can perform it. <laughs> I want to see Braver fight monsters, he so hates and wins every time. He's seen Wandering Adepti and ex Exercising Demons so many times already. I mean, he got tired of it. I want to see the part where the Braver goes home to see his sister. Braver has a sister? I've not heard of this. I definitely haven't seen that before. <laughs> Impressive. Not many people would have request homecoming after all. Only the real fans know of it. <laughs> and alright, just in time for Lantern Night. We will not perform the plots featuring monsters, we shall spin a tale of how lovers end up together. There are three characters who shall appear in the scene. Aside from our brave beard, whom you are familiar with, of course, there is also a lonely girl named Yib Yibing Yibing Yaibing named Yaibing and an honest gentleman named Young Nanfeng. Did you understand any of this? I'm so confused. So is the sister that a guy called Braveyard right? Looks like there's a lot of supporting characters. It's her too, Paimon. Hey, there's only one performance age, uh, and there's a folding screen. How's it gonna work? <laughs> hey, someone here has never seen a paper play before. Mm -hmm. Someone in the back asks how I, a lone conformer, can be in different places at once and make this performance work? Well, our paper plays may not be as exquisite as op as Liyue operas, but we certainly have our own distinctive flavors. As you may know, the characters in Liyue operas are portrayed by real people in the flesh. The actors uh, in our performances, however, are, portrayed, are portrayed with paper figures pasted on silk. And Liyue operas take place on a large wooden stage. Goodness, hiccups. The stage for our performances, however, is but a paper screen on a wooden shelf. Our actors and stages are all made of paper, that's why we call it a paper play. I am the narrator, but I am no actor. You will meet three paper actors in just you meet you will meet the three paper actors in just a moment. I don't think they know about Bravebeard either. Wouldn't it be okay if you introduced him to a story? You know, the one you always start with. <laughs> That's called the establishing moment. I've always enjoyed that too. Please perform it for us. <laughs> establishing moment, establishing moment. <laughs> it's said that the sky's the limit, but the woes of the world are also limitless. There was once a man named Hui Yong, suffering from human injustice, who's resorted to dwelling amongst the mountains and rivers. By chance, he became the disciple of an adeptus and changed his appearance, grew a black beard, and thus he is known as Bravebeard. And at the behest of an adeptus, he is struck down. He has he st at the behest uh, at the behest of the adeptus, he struck down monsters and scared off demons with his sword. The brave beard trained for many years and finally acquired the philosophy of the adeptus. Right before he returned to the adepto abode, he was summoned to recall the past. It turned out that see, he still had an attachment to the Colin folk, for he had a sister at home. The poor sister, Yai Bing, was now alone and helpless. She thought that her brother had lived a miserable life and never asked what happened next. I shall show you right this way. Hey, don't just stand there, clap! Bravo! <laughs> Is there a rule about when you should clap? Okay. <laughs> Thank you all, we were supposed to continue the show, but It'd be better if I asked these two to volunteer to come for assistance in directing the scene. What? <laughs> it'll give you both a good look and it'll help the actors move forward on the stage. What do you think? Hey, why didn't you invite me? I know all about paper plays. You gotta remember to invite me. You just gotta. You've been up there too many times already. Quit making a fuss and enjoy the show. <laughs> well, that's fine by me. <laughs> help direct the scene? That sounds so novel. It's also fine by my mom. Then I shall ask you two to prepare. As soon as you are in position, the performance will begin. Hmm. 
the valiant bearded hero homecoming the valiant bearded hero across mountains the valiant bearded hero over peaks the valiant bearded hero adeptus x adeptus x so we have our first two let's see Devorak. magnificent absolutely magnificent oh you mean the show yes when i heard the music coming from up in the clouds i was so stunned i could barely think or move i felt like it had a special kind of hold over me hmm or maybe it was the adeptal power within the music and the ensemble at the end was truly sublime i felt like i would have started to cry if i hadn't been one of the performers on the stage <laughs> Magnificent! Absolutely. Well, Lady Ningwang, the Tianxuan of the Li Yue Qixing, has invited me to visit her again at Yujing Terrace to discuss a long term collaboration plan. Awesome. I do hope everything goes well and that we have more opportunities to collaborate in the future. The next time we have another performance, you'll have to come. I will save the best seat for you. <laughs> Magnificent! <laughs> I have already given her my thanks in person. This is what she said. It is only natural to lend a hand when we see someone in distress. The wonderful music you brought to Li Yue is worth far more than gratitude. <laughs> Truly, I, I felt so honored. <laughs> but I've also made a decision for myself. I will strive to create even more wonderful, original music for this era. Our era. Aww. Magnificent! We couldn't have accomplished all this without you. Please accept my most heartfelt thanks again. Sir, you have one of the best outfits I've seen on 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 the in quite a while. Like seriously, your dude, your casual outfits practically rivaling some of our NP some some of the players, player characters. Like. Like if it wasn't for the fact that he had a uh, normal dude uh, character model, like I would almost think. <laughs> I I genuinely just like this guy's outfit. I don't know why I'm so taken with it. Show's about to start. You say that. I know the story. <laughs> And there's Latte <gasps> and Kazuha, best character. <laughs> Talk to her in her music. Kazuha! This is such a cool ship! Facing the sea breeze and gazing out at the soaring seagulls. <sighs> Makes me want to sing out loud! Dude wanted to be in shot. Um, oops, I clicked off. Kazuha! How about I stay here and be the ship's resident bard? What are my prospects? With your level of artistic finesse, I'm sure nothing will go wrong. But I'm afraid the sailors aboard are not the most versed in the arts. They probably wouldn't understand the deeper meaning your poetry holds. <laughs> you can't say that for sure. Poetry is spur-of-the-moment creations. Anyone viewing the same sights and experiencing the same atmosphere would surely understand. <sighs> There's a port in Mondstadt, too, but I rarely get the chance to board any of the ships. Speaking of ships, everything's perfect about this one, except... Except? Hmm? Um, Kazuha, could you tell your captain that my height says nothing of my age? I'm way past drinking age. How often does one get to enjoy a seafood feast on a ship? Uh, it'll be a real shame if there isn't anything stronger to enhance the food. Pretty please. 
Well, as you've noticed that there's not much alcohol in the ship. There's not much I can do about that. It's not because Captain Beto's not on the ship right now, but because there's no room for negotiation on this matter. Even I have to sit in the no drinking zone every time. <laughs> but I don't get drunk after just a few sips. Trust me, I can hold my liquor really well. Latte. <laughs> also, Kazuha. Kazuha is such a lightweight that he has to sit at the no drinking table. Oh my gosh, the poor, the poor thing. Also, so many places are just decorated for lantern right. <laughs> the sound of the ocean waves. Long time no see, so we're winging Paimon. Happy lantern right. Kingsen also wishes you sing. Wishes well. Happy lantern right. When you see him, the Alcor has a lot of seaborne good and decorations. It's as bursting as the city. <laughs> Looking great now. All of the decorations were handpicked by the captain. She wanted her brothers and sisters on duty to feel like they were at home for the festival. Not only that, before the lantern right, the captain gave each of us a bonus and organized several big feasts. The food for every feast is ordered from reputable restaurants, such as Wamin Restaurant, which we, are, which we always frequent, and Zion Kiosk in Louis Pavilion. Everyone ate and drank their fill. Pepper wants to check those out too! <laughs> wow, a bonus and a feast? Great, that's great! Paimon has no idea that Beto also had such an eye for detail. Actually, the captain has always been meticulously keeping the fleet's affair. Meticulous. Has always. Goodness, words. Actually, the captain has always been meticulously keeping the fleet's affairs in order. Not only do we crew members get paid very well, but during past lantern rites, she also prepared gifts for our families. Before, the captain got some business information from the Tu Chung on how to improve management and strategy for the crooks. The revenue of the fleet has soared, and so, cap and so the captain has also increased our pay. In this way, the crew will be tip-top shape for any challenge. With the new rec when the new recruits hear about how well the crooks fleet treats its crew, they'll be extra motivated. Oh. New recruits? Yeah. During land right, shouldn't everyone be on vacation? You guys seem to be working overtime. <laughs> it's not like that, don't worry. The captain does have has done all the research in advance. Some of the crew were given early leave, while others were given days off later on. Thus everyone gets time off and there will always be someone to man the Alcor. I was among the group that got earlier vacation time, and I came back to my boats completely refreshed. I'm currently getting ready for my training examination. Vigilant at sea. Vigilant what's now? Is it a new challenge? <laughs> yep, you guessed it. During the past few years, the volume of seaborne trade in Liyue Harbor has been soaring, and many people has joined up this joined up as sailors. I was gonna say joined up the sails. <laughs> you do not wanna. Uh... <laughs> The fact that you can see the Inazuman Islands from here, I always just love. They're just on the horizon. Mm. Taking to the high seas is a matter of patience, bravery, and perception. These are highly demanding qualities. Sailors have to be well trained in order to do navigating safely. In addition uh, to obt in addition to obt <laughs> In addition to obtaining four major qualifications and the five minor qualifications, which in total nine, which total the nine navigation-related qualifications stipulated by the Ministry of Civil Affairs, uh, two years of marine training and apprenticeship are also required. Oh my goodness! Just a quick reminder that the Crux is not a pirate ship. <laughs> nine qualifications and two more years of training. How we mackerel so many. <laughs> it's no big deal. After all, it's far better to go undergo rigorous training and preparation for work than to go out to sea and encounter an unpleasant surprise unprepared. The Ministry of Civil Affairs organizes most of the training courses. Anyone with a passable knowledge of sailing could coast by them. Ships will also have to traverse dangerous waters, which will hopefully give them some expertise. Or some experience, given the ugly in dealing with... <sighs> In dealing with rough sea situations, we in the Ministry of Civil Sailors who pass the trailing will get deep sea navigation qualification certifi certificate on completion, as well as some rewards prepared by the Ministry of Civil Affairs. 
Considering I have the best knowledge of surrounding waters, the captain has tasked me with finding this training ex examination. Wait a minute. Speaking of sailing, you two are pretty good with that wave rider note. Do you guys want to give it a try? If you don't mind, I would also like you guys to give me some feedback about this test, positive or negative. That way, I'll be able to improve it in a timely manner. Now, Paimon wants to see how much skill the crew needs to navigate the high seas. And there's a bonus reward, too. It's a win-win. <laughs> let's, let's give it a try and experience what it's like to be a sailor. <laughs> Such vigor. <laughs> then I'll mark you guys down for the vigilance that seeks this examination. Please do your best. <laughs> <laughs> it's you. Both the multiplayer main menu modes and single player twinkle waters mode. We maintain all rewards by completing challenges in either mode. Cool. Vigilance at sea has three stages before each challenge begins. A stage will be chosen randomly. Mm -hmm. New gameplay details for the rules, different stages. The river will not be able hmm. to use its heavy cannon. What in the world do those symbols really mean? Uh, uh, okay. Uh, you must give the heavy cannon when the challenge begins. You'll gain random techniques by collecting prop lamps. Presumably these. In each stage, make use of the technique smoothly and sail through the challenge. In the challenge rate, joint HP will be replaced by durability. In building wave mode, once your rate is released completely, you will lose all challenge points and you will have already gained and enter a fleet's observer state. Hmm. In the world, do those symbols really mean? Any challenge points, problems in the state, you'll exit the stage after a while, and the wave rider will participate in the challenge again. In tranquil water mode, once your wave rider is ready, the challenge will end and your score will be calculated. The more challenge coins you have at the end of the challenge, the higher your final score will be. Crossing the thrumming waves. The sea lanes where danger and opportunity meet are dotted with vortexes and hidden currents that can speed your wave and hidden currents that can speed your wave rider up. When the challenge progress when the challenge progress progresses to a specific checkpoint, checkpoint, a giant vortex may appear. <laughs> a giant vortex will pull your wave rider very strongly. It and pulling your wave rider very strongly, a giant vortex that will pull on your wave, wave rider very strongly is present in this sea region, and large number of challenge points can be found at the edges of this vortex. A great number of floating lanterns, Mystique. A great number of giant lanterns are floating atop glimmering waves, and special luxurious challenge points will be present within a few of those giant lanterns. When the challenge progresses, reach a certain checkpoint, fireworks will go up and surround the sea region. Follow the five colors and choose the correct giant lantern to solve the lantern riddles. When fireworks, <laughs> hearts, when fireworks go up and surround the sea region, follow the locations and just choose the correct giant lantern. Okay, so the shape of the firework will be on the giant lanterns. <laughs> Mystical elevation. I'm lined up with sea balloons and the challenge is specific checkpoints. And the balloons will begin to dump cargo. The mist shall descend, and the mist shall descend over the ocean's surface. The sea balloons will dump out cargo that hold either luxurious uh, challenge coins or bombs. <laughs> Keep your wits about you as you collect the cargoes. For risk and opportunity, walk hand in hand here. Mist may cover the, the seas nearby, so navigate with care. I mean, see, just use your eyes. Alright, it tells you how. Oh. So, so you just want to get a high score of 5,000. I mean, I feel like that's easier done than said. And then our last one, behind the scenes. Hmm. Good roll. Oh.
did this area get cleared? Huh, I think it should have been cleared already. Ugh, what a headache. Oof, you're the traveler, my apologies. I was too busy, I didn't even notice you. Oh, what are you so busy with? Um, so it's like this. For this year's Land Trek Festival, we of Leeway Harbor Adventurers Guild have been dispatched by the Ministry of Social Affairs to help with some tetriary tasks. The Melilith are primarily responsible for patrolling the city and other key areas. <laughs> We, on the other hand, get to go out and clear some, some monsters along with those good-for-nothing bandits, too. Speaking of which, you're a registered adventurer as well, aren't you? I heard plenty about your exploits. If you want, you can help us out, too. What do you say? <laughs> Aw, isn't it supposed to be the holidays? Ah! Well, since we are helping the Ministry during the holidays, they're providing an additional compensation for experts, so should any adventurer be willing to take on these missions, they'll be able to collect more rewards upon completing their tasks. <laughs> How uh, much additional compensation are we talking about? <laughs> Trust me, it's plenty. That depends. <laughs> that depends on how much work I have still have left. <laughs> Alright, I knew you wouldn't just stay idle. Hmm. I'll be sure to mark down all the locations already confirmed by the guild. Also, please take this miniature launch tube. Do you accept one of the commissions? Remember to launch some fireworks after you clear out an area. After you launch the fireworks, we'll send someone to to the to, to, to We'll send someone to designate the area as cleared. And then we'll adjust the overall plan in accordance with the areas that have been cleared. Sounds pretty ah. strategic. Yeah, this is the Lantern Festival after all. We won't let anything go wrong. People are more tense than a stretch cord right now. Never mind this for now. I'll go look at the situation. Need to make a report to land later. Behind the scenes, digging dirt. Behind the scenes, dusting dregs. Behind the scenes, denying decay. Behind the scenes, dispelling disaster. Someone was having fun with their alliterations, I see. <laughs> oh my gosh. Where's the pet dog, Bunchin, Genshin? Look at them. They're such good boys. Look at them. They're so precious. Where's the pet dog, Button Mihoyo? Mihoyo. Where's the pet, the popper button? Aside from uh, uh, Lisa's quest, I, I keep seeing the red. And I'm like, ah, I hope them wait. No, I can't do that because then, like, oh my gosh, a character might decide they're kind of busy in a different location. Commissions and spin the resin. Wait, I didn't. I didn't actually look. I was just like, hmm, yes, uh huh. All right, ley lines. Uh, it is Friday, isn't it? Yeah, it's currently Friday, so can't. I can check out my own teapot traveling salesman, but you know, who knows what we'll have. Complete ley line deposit challenges 20 times. Yeah, he's paid. Uh, so I need 300 resin, and then that's this done. Then I have 160, and then 100, and then 160 more. Ley line. 
that's what I'm looking for. Oh, since I'm here. Alright. Gotta get a plan. Can I just say I love Leela Harper during the lantern, right? Okay. It's just like so cozy. Timey, I was just looking to ask you something. Oh? What's the matter? How are the preparations going? Well, it's mostly Dad and his friends preparing, but Dad's also given me a task. He said that the journey is going to be a long one. I need some medicine. Stuff for headaches, uh, head stroke, hangovers, stuff to help digest, and there's just a lot. Actually, why do they need stuff for hangovers? Probably for business negotiations. Eh, what a hangover medication have to do with business deals? It's not like business would bloom the more you can drink, right? <laughs> Whatever the case, Dad wants me to go to a pharmacy to ask if the medicines have been prepared yet. Uh, could you accompany there? Accompany me there. There's something I'd like to ask you for your help with. All right. Something you need help with. Uh, we'll talk about it when we get there. Come on, let's go. To produce from the whole thing. What brings you here today? Oh, right, I remember now. You heard about those medicines? Yes. Don't worry, they're almost all ready. I'll send them to your father in batches. It said his order has drained his reserves from herbs, so some of those medicines will only be ready later. Let me see. Well, the main thing we're on is met, which has put a stop on the heat stroke medication production for now. We will also talk medicine, taking medicine orders other than your father. Then. <laughs> Looks like it's my time to shine. <laughs> Thanks, traveler. Can you get those herbs? I'm just saying, in the meantime. Oh, aren't you in this kid? Alright, let's get back to this and get here. Whoa, that's a lot. Look at these first, I'll bring the next batch out shortly. There's more? I got plenty of mint. Three, seriously. Three. D bro, I could get you bushels. <laughs> this is good enough for me to mix to medicine with. The heat struck the medication in the next batch and then have them delivered to you. Thanks, Big Red, okay? Uh, these are for you, Trevor. Thanks for your help. I'll head back now. Crazy here, but just one moment, please. One minute. Eh? Weren't you supposed to check the medicines? You still haven't gone through the checklist in the back. Eh? What? But I was checking for so long. And there's more where that came from, little man. Now then, let's continue reviewing. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> He didn't actually ask us anything. Since we start to install an update, I will save that for way later. Quietly 
can't catch me. Gotcha. Let's roll. shape like this I could have actually the more I think about it the more I feel like these rocks are new <laughs> yeah I'm like looking at this and I'm like no these, these rocks are new because you as far as I was aware you could walk all the way you could walk all the way around yeah 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 because yeah no this entire hill is new new-ish I put an asterisk on that I'm not sure how new it is new by a tree and they're like my tree this is my tree and but they try to get them to hold on to a wall and they're like oh i think i'll just put my feet on the side of this wall and just slide on them So yeah, that'll be the uh, 10,000. Unless, I'm not sure how crazy I'm, I'm going to have to really actually pay attention to some of my older videos. Uh, <laughs> I think 
think there to not be on it, or maybe I'm crazy. Thank you for Ad Astra Abyssosk. Where are you going? A chest full of valuables, and a trove of potential clues. Can't catch me!
exhausting. Treasure. One way to draw your target out of hiding. <laughs> God. Yaylan Ye and Kaya should never meet. We will both go out for a drink and just. Actually, that's the question. Yaylan's like pretty. She, she's straight. Well, she's not like by the books. She like. Following or tell. She like. Indulge in Kaya's. Again. Dissipate! Incinerate! Uh. Boom boom! Or they like... Time for Now you're testing my patience. Yeah, entirely <laughs> Let's roll! Will Gotcha! Motion to compel! Money. It's so dull and clearly a withering zone, and yet. Oh, or is there like a watchtower? Take it easy. I suppose I could go in here. I haven't been in here yet, I don't think. Nope. <laughs> don't want to kill the mama dragon and her ducklings. Busted. But 
Across a few of those. Catch your breath. Like, I'm sure there's some method to the madness, but I don't see it right now. Another problem. Attaboy! Cha! Get with me! Use this first! Bust it! This was well done! Uh, okay, that one hurt! Ha! Easy. <laughs> Another test. Gotcha. That was a boy. A bond is strong. That was a strong. A hunter. All right. 
This will do. haven't been in the giant pyramid so who knows what I'm missing. All right, there's all this. Looking for trouble? Gotcha. All yours. Mike, does this underground area somehow lead to way over here? I mean, if we're in a high enough up area. It's possible, but I have no idea where the beginning of the cave is. How many samples do I have captured? are not welcome here. Go! Hey! Let's roll! <laughs> See if it is this cave. No. <laughs> this cave is even lower. Take it easy. Okay, you let me into that by just Bust it. Atta boy. Yeah. Bond is strong. Motion to compel. Yeah. Is that all you've got? Yeah. 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 Where do you think you're going? Yeah. Huh. Oh, 
can't catch me. Atta boy! Treasure. One way to draw your target out of hiding. Take it easy. Primal beans, I saw something king to hats. Fire primal beans is too close to special beans. Can we transposition? Pretty far out of the way place. Most people probably would have immediately gone there, and I haven't even done like this. I I I just have been lollygagging. <laughs> just like here, there, wander, wander around, wander, wander around. <laughs> One to take my hammer. Another test. Subject. Stand with me. Incinerate. Move room. Ah, I messed up. Motion to compel. You are not welcome. Take it easy. Can't catch me. Let's roll. Ah. Have a little taste. 
quietly now. Have a little taste. Atta boy! The wrong test subject. Busted. strong winds that kind of strong passage or blow a, a primal embers away if you wish to pass through them you'll need to wait for a moment when the primal blades stop moving or look for a device that will cause them to stop altogether <laughs> Oh 
my god, it was right there, you fool. <laughs> Treasure. One way to draw your target out of hiding. Just wandering the desert. As of the wind strike. Mysterious wise, who knows if you approach him to be while bearing special clearance? Oh, the little diddle do is the special clearance. You can cause walls to become transparent illusions, which should help her help you move Interesting. Breathtaking. Uh, yeah, yes. What am I looking at?
treasure. One way to draw your target out of hiding. Take it easy. more time downstairs. <laughs> I mean, I could just jump. So it's not the most impossible thing to think this is what I needed. But to be fair, I was up here, so... Take it easy. Chest full of valuables and a trove of potential clues.
Take it easy. I've been around that crazy pyramid thing uh, so often. 
Next following one. <laughs> I mean, there's still our other quest to do. But for right now, I'm I'm very good. Stand with me. Oh my goodness, hiccups. Anyhow, until next time.